Jaron Boots Ennis may be the next big thing in the welterweight division. 26 and 0 with 24 KOs. The 23 year old from Philly, Luke, one of your favorite fighters, is going to step up in class considerably to take on former 140 pound world champion and hard scrabble veteran Sergey Lipin. Yet, if you've paid attention to Ennis, that he is smart, he is athletic, he makes great decisions. He is crafty, his punches are accurate, and he's slick. I mean, there's a lot to like about it, but to your point, Lipinets is a huge step up, battle-tested. Oh. Again, you can go down there. Feeling great, you know? You ready to rock and roll? Ready, ready to go to the weigh-ins right now? Eat. Feeling strong. Lipinets has somebody I like to call a crafty brawler, Luke. He comes forward. He does put himself in the line of fire. Within the next year or two, Boots Ennis is probably going to be a champion, perhaps with multiple belts. And I think the road to get there has been starting for a long time, but this is the next chapter in it. Walking into the wings, I'm just yeah, focused and locked in, not worrying about nothing. You just got to live in the moment. Hailing from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, a rising star, the undefeated Jerron Boots Ennis. When I hop on the scale, I started smiling, because it's time, it's, it's time to show out. During the face-off, the reason why I look at them a little longer is to see what they're going to do and see how they react or just make, make them look away. Yeah, they're both, both of them. Both of them are in the same division. Yeah, I'm going to do it one more time. All right. <laughs> Feel the same. Going through the glove selection, I just try to pick which glove fits both my hands perfectly. It's all about the comfort when you're in that ring. All right, so these are your number twos right here. So just make a mark there, just on that surface, and these will be your number ones right here. Perfect. That's it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We'll have number twos ringside for you, and number ones will be in your locker. All right, thank you. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. No issues? No, no issues. Okay, breath for me. I stay disciplined throughout training camp. That's how you gotta be. You gotta eat right, do the right things, and run, and, and hard work and dedication. Ready to rock and roll? Yeah, how you feel about the bubble? You know what I mean? I mean, it, we've been here before. Being in the bubble, it's, it's, it's kind of like normal to me because I, I like to stay by myself anyway uh, when it's fight time. But it's different though because you know, you used to having your family around in a room. and But I kind of like it, it'll keep you more focused and you know, just prepare you for the fight and stay locked in. My dad, he everything a trainer, a father, he does it all. He's been in his game for over 40 years. I know he wants the best for me. and. So that's why I do whatever he say. Just stay humble, stay grounded, and keep doing what you're doing. You know what I mean? You don't have to be uh, ignorant, not like that, you know, to make it. You know what I mean? You know, treat people like they treat you. You know what I mean? And, and be fair with uh, people. That's what, that's, what, that's what I tell them all the time. It's a great feeling, man. When I'm in the bubble, I just relax, talk to my friends and family on FaceTime and play a little bit of video games and just stay focused, stay locked in. What's up, bro? You good? Good. How you feeling? Feeling great, bro. Ready to rock and roll, you know, re rehydrating up, put my weight back on. Yeah. What you, you got to the way? I had uh, steak, broccoli, uh, mashed potatoes, and uh, salmon. And oh, then you I'm... Still, you still on a healthy diet. What you, what you about to cook up today? Uh, tonight I'm going to whip up some pasta, some broccoli, some Italian sauces, <laughs> so they fire. <laughs> yo, he cook, you cook yeah. every day, yo. <laughs> I got to come up there and get a grub. <laughs> yeah, if you're out here, you know, we take care of you. Yeah, I, I already know. You know, I'm, I told you I'm going to come out there uh, after this fight, so. Yeah. What's up, brother? In like 20 minutes. My pop said, what's up? What's up? Brother, brother, great win, man. Yeah. Why you knock my boy out, man? <laughs> Yo, I told him, I told him it was going to happen. Me and Brandon definitely been putting on and showing our skills and our ability, and now we're main event fighters. And coming up from fighting in little club shows and fighting in little hot arenas and stuff like that, it, all that stuff played off, and look, look where we are now. But I see you was fishing too, right? I mean, in the gym, cooking or fishing? Proud of you, man. Keep on doing what you're doing, you know. Like you said, another day, another dollar. Yeah, I already know, bro. All right, thank, thank you. All right. 
Brandon made this <laughs> rush hour too. He put Ennis and Lee. I told y'all rush hour four coming on the way when we retire. From the Mohegan Sun Arena in Uncasville, Connecticut, Ryan Bader seeks revenge against Lyoto Machida. Bellator MMA Avengers assemble. Well, definitely excited to be here cage side for Bellator MMA, but I cannot wait for tomorrow night when I will be ringside as my guest at this time, Jerron Boots Ennis, undefeated knockout machine from Philadelphia faces, well, what is supposed to be his toughest test on paper. You've been on Showtime for, for many of your fights, and tomorrow night you get the spotlight. This is going to be a great opportunity for me and the start of me being a pay-per-view star. You have designs on taking over the sport of boxing. What do you make of Bellator Mixed Martial Arts? Maybe one day i uh, you know, do one. Just do one. <laughs> first thing is first. Jerron Boots Ennis, thank you so very much. Going to the Bellator event is a, it's great for me, getting to watch some MMA and grabbing a fan base too. So trying to get some MMA fighters to follow me and take my fan base to a different level. You know, just it's a typical day, you know, just another day in the office. I'm relaxing and chilling, you know, you know prepare my body mentally and physically for uh, tonight. Right, shoes for the night. One of my people's back home. Uh, he wrote graffiti on it and, you know, I let him do his thing. My grandma passed away May 7th of last year, so keep grandma with me. When you step into that ring, when you look good, you feel good. That's the goal, look good, feel good. Just have fun doing it. Got my grandma on her back again. I have to keep her with me, you know, and it's, I know she's watching and uh, watching me do my thing. The first impression I had of Ennis when I first saw him on Showbox was that he was a typical coach's son. And what I mean by that is in basketball, when you get a coach's son, he's very often a point guard because he understands the game so well. Well, we all know that Boots Ennis grew up with Bozy in a gym, you know, hitting a heavy bag before he was three years old. The, the familiarity, the comfort level he has in a boxing ring is unmistakable. And that was very apparent from the very beginning with him, the first time we saw him. It is the main event of the evening. Jerron Boots Ennis taking on the samurai, Sergei Lipinets. Boots says this is the fight that will finally take his career to that next level. I was really happy when I heard this fight was announced because Ennis has been so dominant against the level of competition he's faced. You just couldn't wait for him to fight somebody at a higher level to see how good he would be. <laughs> A true test for the knockout artist from Philadelphia, Jerron Boots Ennis, in his first main event against what on paper is the toughest test of his blossoming career. Round one. And is coming out and immediately trying to establish the jab. One thing we got to see from Lipinets is he's got to be active. He's got to throw punches. He knows that Lipinets is going to come forward, be right in front of him. Keep on doubling your jab up. Double and jab, jab and move. He got to come to you. Putting together a nice combination. <laughs> Lipinets landing a solid right hand on Ennis, but Ennis ate it well. Lippin yet a champion at 140 now in welterweight. Does he have the power to hurt Jerron Boots Ennis? Stay tight, stay tight, stay tight. Yet can make it a tough night for anyone. Lippin Yetz has had success against lefties, but uh, this is a different animal in there, obviously. And Lippin Yetz able to close the distance and land a few punches here. Now Ennis fires back with a combination. Double it up, looking good, man. 
Lippin, yes, just misses with the left hook. Beautiful left hook, right uppercut combination by Ennis. Ooh, solid lead right. Jolted with that right hand, and Lippin, yes, feeling the power. Less than a minute left in the first half of this 12-round affair, and Joe oh, and Ennis with the left hand drops. Lippin, yes, no doubt about this one. And the fight has been stopped. That was a remarkable performance. You know, that has not happened to Sergey Lipinets. He is the winner by way of knockout. He is still undefeated. Jerron Boots in. Your performance tonight, very impressive. Uh, a lot of people thought that this would be like a graduation day for you, stepping up, fighting a good fighter, terrific fighter like uh, Lipinets. Uh, how would you assess where you are and did you graduate? Most definitely, I feel like I graduated. I want to thank uh, Lippinets and his uh, his team for uh, taking the fight and allowing me to, you know, put on a beautiful show for the fans. And like I said before, it's uh, bigger and better fights now. Jerron Boots Ennis passes his biggest test in flying colors. I mean, this kid is spectacular. I always be hard on myself, and I don't ever think I look good. <laughs> I always can improve on something, you know, get better each and every time I fight. And that's what I'm going to continue to do, go back in that gym and go do what I need to do to get better, sharper, stronger, faster, so I could be a world champion. It's a great feeling, a great win over a top guy. Right now it's one of the bigger and better things. I'm Jerron Boots in this, and I'm here to take over the welterweight division. Let's go.